Welcome back to Teshkid FX for another Harmony One price prediction update. And in this video, I'll be giving you the latest developments that have been happening here on the Harmony One chart, which at the time of this recording has continued to hold above a key area of support at around the $0.02166 mark. We have also continued to hold above the 20 day MA here on the 4 hour chart and also continue to obey the editor structures. And before I give you my next price targets here on the Harmony One chart, first give this video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and also check out the channel membership and allow me to continue with the video here on the daily chart by first giving you a quick recap of what has been happening where you can see that harmony one from these low prices that we had been trading within we saw a massive bounce to the upside making it to an all time high at around the $0.39 mark in what I'm terming is that first wave to the upside and after seeing the all time high we started the bear market where we had been seeing low prices in this ABC corrective structure which has now given us a low at around the $0.009 mark in what I'm terming is that second wave to the lower side and after seeing the formation of a second wave whatever we expect next is a bounce to the upside in the formation of a larger ADA 12 count 3 and here on the daily chart I have target areas to the upside in the formation of that with 3 at the FIB of 1.618 and that is at around the $0.61746 mark and that is the minimum that I'm expecting Harmony 1 to do on the long term scenarios where I'm also expecting to see a 5 wave structure in formation having the wave 5 fully maximizing the formation of that with 3 to the upside and jumping to the 4 hour chart to give you the short term scenarios that I'm expecting to play out and also the next price targets here on the harmony one chart here on the one hour chart you can see that down here this is where we made our lower low at around the $0.009 mark before we started this massive bounce to the upside in a move that has been obeying the editor structures where you can see that I'm terming that as the first wave then we have retest in the formation of that wave 2 before we started this bounce to the upside in the formation of that wave 3 giving us a peak at around the $0.02953 mark and after seeing the high for that wave 3 whatever we expected next is a corrective structure in the formation of these wave 4 before we can continue pushing even higher in the formation of these wave 5 to fully maximize the formation of an even larger ADO wave count 1 to the upside and getting a little bit into the details of the formation of these wave 4 because this is what is going to give me the short term scenarios that I'm expecting to play out we can first sketch out a minimum target area in the formation of that wave 4 by connecting the fibs from the low of the second wave to the high of that wave 3 and that gives me a minimum retestment area in the formation mission of that wave 4 between the FIB level 0.382 and the FIB level 0.618 and that is between the $0.02425 mark and the $0.02087 mark and it is within this red target area that I'm expecting to see the low for this fourth wave to the lower side and at the time of this recording you can see that we have lost the 20 day MA here on the 4 hour chart which is now acting as resistance and that means in case the 20 day MA continues to give us a rejection over here there are chances of seeing another pullback to the lower side to fully maximize our target area down here in the formation of this uh, wave 4 to the lower side because you can see the low that we made at around the 0.02 to $75 mark did not fully maximize this red target area in the formation of that wave 4 and in the formation of that wave 4 we also expect to see an ABC corrective structure because of the corrective nature of the formation of that wave 4 and we are seeing such a move having this as the wave A then we have seen that as the wave, uh, wave B and I'm still expecting one more new low in the formation of this wave C to fully maximize our target areas because if I sketch out a minimum target area to the lower side in the formation of this wave C using a trend based Fibonacci connecting it from the high of that wave A to the low of that wave A then dragging the fibs to the high of that wave B that gives me a minimum target area to the lower side in the formation of that wave C at the fib of 1.618 and that is at around the $0.02094 mark and that is the minimum that we can expect this wave C to the lower side to do and for us to fully maximize this target area we need to lose the key area of support at around the $0.02166 mark for us to fully maximize the fib of 1.618 and also fully maximize our target area in the formation of these wave 4 so that is what I'm expecting here on the short term scenarios but we also need to have in mind that these could still be the low for that fourth wave to the lower side over here and in case we see a bounce above the 20 day MA 
and once that happens we see a massive bounce to the upside continue pushing even higher manage to break above the wave 3 higher which is right here also manage to break above the key area of resistance at around the 0.03 dollar mark see a successful retest of that key area of resistance before we continue pushing even higher then there are chances that that could be the start of the formation of that wave 5 to the upside and once we fully maximize our target areas in the formation of these wave 5 which i can sketch out using a trend based fibonacci then i believe harmony one will be completing an even larger edge to count one and we can sketch out target areas in the formation of that wave five by connecting the fibonacci's from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave one then drag the fibs to the high of that wave three and that gives me a minimum target area to the upside in the formation of that wave five at the fib level 0 0.618 and that is at around the 0 0.0362 one dollar mark and that is the minimum that you can expect that wave five to the upside to do but we can also give a benefit of doubt back to the fib level 1.618 in case we continue pushing through those key areas on the fibonacci and the fib level 1.618 is at around the 0 0.0466 dollar mark and that is the minimum that we can expect that with five to the upside to do so over here we need to be very careful continue watching the 20 day ma because if it continues to give us resistance there are chances of seeing one more leg down to fully maximize this red target area and once that happens then that that would be another perfect entry into harmony one so that you can be able to ride that with five to the upside and that is not financial advice but in case we continue holding above the 20 day ma have a move that is going to give us a break above the 0.03 dollar mark which is a key area of resistance then that could be the start of a bounce to the upside in the formation of that wave 5 and also taking a look at the indicators to see what movements will be supported on the rsi we are trading at around the 43 mark meaning we have massive room for us to fully support higher prices and also lower movements here on the harmony one chart also taking a look at the macd we have been able to print a bullish cross but we have seen a sharp decrease in the buying momentum here on the macd meaning soon we might be able to print a bearish cross to fully support that movement to the lower side to fully maximize the formation of that before so let's be patient and see how that plays out and i'll be keeping you updated